So here we have the, the natural timber stone looking product of Rocks Block. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, where that came from, Alan. Well, excellent. So uh, this product is absolutely exciting. The molds for this wet cast product are actually made from real pieces of weathered barn wood. In fact, you'll notice on the end grain, or the end grain that's shown on the end of timber stone, that you can see that it actually has saw cuts as if that wood was sawn, which it was on the piece that we used. Nice, yeah, you definitely do carry that nice natural look on all sides of the block. Um, there's really nice deep natural grains that you find in the block too, and I, that would really help to show and um, keep that, that natural look. There really is on large, uh, on large patios or walkways, there's no two patios that would look alike because of the various molds and the hand coloration process. The hand coloration process you see, is that, that the, these kind of highlight points that run through the block? Is that what you're talking about? That's a good about? question. So what we do is we actually have colored concrete and if I tell you too much more, I'd have to get you to sign a document. <laughs> but um, there's colored concrete with black highlights that are actually integral with the product itself. Okay. So it's a, it's a beautiful product in brown and gray. And black highlights make it look beautifully uh, naturally weathered. For sure. It really does help accent and bring that natural contour that's there out. It really does. Helps it pop. Often we get asked the question about polymeric sand. Could you tell us a little bit more of where and how to use that with the Timberstone uh, product specifically? You bet. Um, polymeric sand works really good for, for getting in your actual joints to uh, kind of avoid weed growth or, or even some insect uh, infestation there. So uh, with the Timberstone, it is optional to use that polymeric sand. Um, you do still get those natural joints between, so it, it, it works well there. Um, but what you want to do with the Timberstone is really take care to kind of brush with the grain afterward and uh, get the sand out before you wet it so that you keep your nice natural look and your natural grain in the wood. Excellent, excellent. Because I notice on here, one of the beautiful parts of Timberstone is there's some nice deep, it looks exactly like it's weathered and cracked. So what you're saying by putting in the polymeric sand, you obviously want to sweep that out there, but leave it in the in the joint Exactly, itself. leave it between the actual blocks, but then you can broom it out of uh, the the grains that run through the actual slabs. How about this bro? Um, it's one we've had uh, good success with in, uh, in our retail industry, and that customers uh, today really seem to be drawn to, to the look of it. Excellent, and since you mentioned that, Alan, actually, you own a landscape um, supply company, don't you? Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about that for the benefit of those that also have landscape supplies? For sure. So uh, we, we have a local supply center, um, retail center here in Lethbridge. Um, we stock Rocks Walk products as one of our, uh, our main pr uh, manufacturers. And uh, we've really had uh, good success with people showing interest in the natural look you get out of their products, um, the ease of installment, and also the, the cost effectiveness when, uh, for the look that you're getting. Excellent, well, thanks for carrying our product, Alan. I really appreciate it, it helps our sales. Um, back to the Rundle product. So as Alan said, two sizes, and uh, Rundle has um, a unique look in itself. Uh, many people, most people love the Timberstone look, a very rustic look. This one could look contemporary or it could look tr traditional. Almost any setting with the Rundle. Again, very simple to install and uh, easy to cut as well if you decided to. But with the two sizes, not very much cutting is needed on this product, Alan, at all. Sure. Yeah, you really do get that real nice, clean line look out of it. Yeah. I've seen uh, some of this installed uh, along pool sides and uh, patio slabs, walkways, uh, multiple uses for this product. Alan, one question about the products that we've uh, been faced with. Um, the natural color that's in them, do you find it fades a lot or how does it weather? That's a good question. Similar to any wet cast product, initially before it's fully cured, it'll be quite bright. In time, it could fade a little. So you could expect some fading. To reduce that, we always recommend to seal our products with a concrete sealer. Okay, yeah, no, we've, uh, we've used sealers before and uh, had good success with them. Yeah, and it would really help lock in that nice natural look and keep it there for you. Yeah, and protects it from the weather, would you say, as well? Totally. So, um, what type of sealers do you recommend, Alan, on a Rocks Block products? 
Um, there's uh, two main lines of it. Uh, people like some, some like to stick with like a water base, either a high gloss or, or a matte finish sealer. Um, if you really want to get into it, there's a, it's called a xylene base um, sealer and uh, really quite strong smell to it. <laughs> a little bit more. Uh, uh, Make sure to use it outdoors. Yeah, right? Use it outdoors. <laughs> um, but we've, we've noticed that the, the water base one works well for homeowner type situations. Does it dry pretty fast? The water It base? does. Yeah, it does. So like in an hour, you can, it'd be virtually dry. For sure. And we've seen uh, applications where we've done it with uh, simply putting it into a sprayer and just kind of spraying it on and leaving it set um, or even spraying and using a paintbrush a little bit just to get that um, so there's no spots. Excellent. Would you re recommend sealer on our retaining wall block system? Uh, n not from what I've seen, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the color there is... Uh, has that little bit of fade initial but it, it tends to hold like this wall for example has been here for uh, many years and it's still carrying that nice bright look that it would have on day one so it'd so be optional then according... optional to use but not necessary on a wall more more for a flat surface where there's traffic and direct sunlight right on is there any other um, uh, patio slabs that you uh, perhaps want to mention at this time they're all available, you can see them online, I presume? For sure, on, online, and, and we also carry them, but uh, there's a, a Brickstone um, product that Rockspock makes where you get a kind of a traditional uh, brick look, but they're in slabs where there's eight bricks per piece. Um, helps with ease of installment. Um, there's also another version here of the, the Rundle that's called Travertine in kind of a beige tone um, with a little less texture, kind of giving that, that tile look. Um, for outdoors and then there's also uh, a rocky mountain slab it's called it's it's got a lot of texture on the face and really has kind of that slate kind of stone look look to it so you could go to your any local dealer and you could see many of these products oh for sure right on today we're showing our best sellers and that's what we're introducing today so thanks Alan for uh, talking to us about our beautiful patio slabs at Rocks Block Hardscapes thank you